Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing the recipe for a really delicious traditional Cornish pasty. When Chris and I went down to Cornwall a few years ago, we literally had a Cornish pasty every single day and they were just delicious. So I want to share my recipe with you. So hopefully you can recreate them at home if you love them as much as we do. So like I said, I'm going to share a traditional Cornish pasty recipe, but if you want to swap out the meat, then I would suggest putting in mushrooms instead or whatever you fancy really that is or veggie instead of the meat. So the ingredients you're going to need to create your Cornish pasty is one onion, in, some diced up swede, some diced up potato. I have got some sirloin steak here. I have got quite nice quality sirloin steak because I feel like that is what makes a good pasty. So you don't want to get a cheap cut because otherwise you're going to find it a little bit chewy. So I've got two sirloin steaks here. I've got an egg and I have also made my own short crust pastry. But if you want to buy a shop bought one, that's absolutely fine too. So the first thing I'm going to start off by doing is getting a big mixing bowl like this. And I'm just going to add in all my veggies. So I add in my onion, my swede, my potato, and I'll also add in a real generous amount of salt and pepper too. And I'll just mix everything together until they become nicely combined. You do want to generously season these ingredients because otherwise, Otherwise, you're not going to have as much flavour in your pasty. As you can see, I have got quite a lot here. This is going to make quite a few pasties. So what you can always do once you have got this is it can be like the base to any other pasty. So you can just keep it in your fridge and then if you want to make some veggie pasties or some chicken pasties, use these veggies and just swap out the main ingredient. Okay, so once you've done that, you then want to move on to prepping your steak. So I have got two sirloin steaks here and I've already diced one up. So as you can see, I've kind of diced them into nice little bite-sized pieces. I have, first of all, just made sure I've cut away any of the fat. I think there's nothing worse than getting like a bit of fat or a bit of like gristle in your Cornish pasty. It just completely ruins it for me. So I do like to make sure I cut off any rind and any excess fat from my steak before dicing it up. Right, so now your steak is cut up. I'm just going to lay it on my chopping board and then I'm just going to pop some salt over the top of it. This is just going to bring out all of those nice flavours in your steak. So I'm just going to set that to one side and I'm now going to get out of the fridge the short crust pastry that I made a little earlier. Here she is. Look at that beaut. Honestly, this is so easy to make. It's literally just flour, butter, a bit of salt and a bit of water and you've just got to bring it all together until you make a nice little bit of pastry like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put some flour onto my worktop and then I'm just going to roll this out until it's about two to three mil thick and then I can cut it into my pastry shapes. Once you rolled your pastry out and you're happy with it, you then want to get yourself a little plate. I use a little side plate and just pop it down, face down onto your pastry and then cut around it. And that's just going to give you a perfect circle for you to create your pasties with. Right, next up you're ready to get some of your veggies and you want to make sure you're putting your veggies in only half of your circle because you're going to fold it over in a minute. And then you also want to make sure that your veggies are quite evenly spaced as well. So don't be shy to just get your fingers in there and sort of sort everything out yourself. Once your veggies are in, you then want to get your diced meat and then just lay that in too. While you're doing all this prep work, you also want to have your oven set on 180 degrees centigrade and it can just start preheating while you do all of this. Once you've got your meat and your veggies in, you're then ready to get the empty side of your pastry and you just want to fold it over all of your veggies and your meat and then you can get a little fork and just close the edges together next up you just want to get an egg and crack it into a little bowl and then whisk it up and then get a little brush and then you just want to brush the egg all over the top of your pasty so the final step you want to do and you do not want to forget this is because you are cooking everything in the oven from like raw you want to make sure you make little vent holes at the top of your pasty this is going to let any steam come out of your pasty and it will make sure it doesn't go soggy. So I'm just going to cut little vent holes and kind of open them up a little bit at the top of each pasty 
before popping it into the oven. So like I said, I've preheated my oven to 180 degrees centigrade. I'm gonna put these into the oven for 50 minutes and they're going to come out looking absolutely delicious and ready to eat. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there for more recipes just like this one. I hope you enjoy making this at home and I will see you guys again next week. Bye.